It's Friday, and that means it's time for Friday Follies. And for that, we turn to Fox News contributor Raymond Arroyo. All right, Ray, Joe Biden had a he had a bit of a topsy turvy week of public events, and <laughs> he seems, uh, to my eye, he seems to be kind of reverting back to his old routines. Laura, I think your eye does not deceive you. On Monday, the president repeated a line that has gotten him in trouble in the past. This is tonight's marquee malarkey. Bunch of malarkey. I swear to God, when he left Scranton, when coal died, my dad was not a, was he was a salesperson. He wasn't a coal miner. My great grandpa was. Only his great grandpa was not a coal miner either, Laura. He was an engineer who did not extract coal from anything. Now, this is an old lie that Biden fessed up to back in 2004. Hell, I might be president now if it weren't for the fact I said my uh, I had an uncle who was a coal miner. Turned out I didn't have anybody in the coal mines, you know what I mean? Really? I tried that crap, you know, about, you know, <laughs> it didn't work. You know, I'm from Scranton, Pennsylvania. I figured there had to be a coal miner somewhere in the family. <laughs> Nothing, huh? Nothing. Coal, it was an engineer. I mean, the Laura, how do you like that admission, I tried that crap before? It seems he keeps <laughs> trying it, and it's not working out very well. Remember, this is what killed, and he referenced it there, the 1988 presidential campaign. He stole that speech from Neil Kinnock, the labor secretary in the U.K., referencing relatives who worked in the coal mines. Turned out, never happened. And the Washington Post this week, they said, well, Biden went too far, but we're not giving him Pinocchio. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. You... No, wait. First of all, I, I keep seeing him. And now that was 17 years ago. OK, yeah. well, he wasn't a spring chicken back then. But doesn't it seem like, number one, aging is a is tough, right? That's for all of us. Yeah, aging well... is tough. But my goodness, he's like a different person. Doesn't he look like the same well... person? Laura, whether it's due to his age or his mental state, we are reaching a place with President Biden where, to him, the plagiarized personal narratives are fusing with reality, but it doesn't make them true. These days, facts and names, they're all elusive to him. This is the president from Wednesday. Listen. And Mayor, 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 Mayor Passaro, I, I want to thank you for being here. And I know it probably embarrasses me to point you out and say that, but uh, you predict it and practiced your disciplines on land and sea. You've shown that you are salty. We have to make sure that women have the chance to succeed and thrive throughout their careers. It's a Chinese saying, it says, women hold up half the world. It's an absolutely stupid position not to make sure they represent at least half of what we do. There's a lot of absolute stupidity there, Laura. Firstly, he is quoting Mao, the Chinese dictator, and that line is, women hold up half the sky, not the world. By the way, that bit of Chinese propaganda was intended to push women into the factories. He loves borrowing lines from foreign politicians. Doesn't matter who they are, just take the line and make it your own. Yeah, uh, Raymond, you're speaking to the U.S. Coast Guard, and you're <laughs> quoting... <laughs> the notorious dictator in a positive way of your chief military adversary. I, does anyone else find this to be, I mean, you could open up like the quotable quotes at, at any day of the week and just like, why not go with Irma Bombeck or something, right? Why go, why go It would be an mouth? improvement over a guy who wiped out 80 million people. Yeah, I All would right, think so. Ray. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.